Hi everyone. Welcome to Lucky Punch. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and like it. First of all, for Danny Garcia, moving up in weight as we chronicle. So he is five merciless. Jose Benavides Jr. Danny Swift Garcia. Okay, gentlemen, your both receive instructions and it's going to work. Referee professional Steve fight. We are set for the main event in, in nine fights here at Barclays. As five. Hey, I spar with my brother David. I can take those punches. <laughs> he says marks the end of the Danny Garcia show. Let's see what kind of show they put on as we go. Danny Garcia known for his impeccable timing, although coming off the longest layoff the of his career. with him, and he is right now. A first round knockout of Frank Rojas. He has eight first round minute gone here in the first round. There's no combination upstairs for Benavides. And there's a nice three punch combination from Garcia again, making the Garcia has sometimes been a slow starter. Uh, he wants it to the body. He says, hey, it's the skills and not necessarily size that wins champ. Uh, for Benavides, he's gone the distance in seven of his last eight fights. There's another one. Right hand in the he ended up with the the questionable draw. Uh, he wants to go more before he and always approaches the fight with fearless bravado as Garcia able to go downstairs with a opening three minutes of this 154 pound contest as we go to Al Bernstein's key. Interesting all night and uh, we the, uh, Garcia show. Let's leave it at that. The daddy, you know. the angel Garcia, yeah, the angel Garcia. Show. 33 in that last round and that's important for him and his is astonishing. He has taken big punches from big punchers. Making sure that the timing is right. And the second round after again, as we've mentioned, the longest layoff of his career. He doesn't do that, get it with a big counter punch. And, you know, physically speaking, them side by side, I mean, just so much bigger. The counter punches that we're talking about from Garcia. Boom, there it is. Another. He is, and he is standing by with our Jim Gray. Well, that's got our Jim, thank you very much. And for Danny Garcia again, first time at this weight class. Garcia is uh, normally uh, towards lands 41% of his power punches every other than Jeff tonight. Already talked about the timing, the counter punching, but there's a, that left hook to the yeah. body that Brother oh, David talked right about. Hand. Mr. Benavides ah. oh. with some to Danny Garcia. That was a nice right hand. Little old right there. Oh, the left hook upstairs lands for Benavides. He feels he's a better fighter now. He wants to resort to being the younger version. Really good work downstairs. Now he's, he, he wants to pick it up upstairs. He wanted to change that right hand as an overhand right for Danny. Right hand, that overhand right, Garcia. There's a nice three punch combination. Able to see. Body shots by Garcia. Round, it, Benavidez landing that right hand, which is an important one for him. And that was here's the, the the right hand over the the lazy left. Of sets up the jab. He, he gets the rhythm going and he sets his punches really well. Now it's it, it's almost an activity. You go forth. There's that right hand that lands. Named his first daughter, Philly. Has another daughter on the way. And. Uh, under minute left here in the fourth, and Garcia loading up with that right. There's a right. That's different. <laughs> and yet Benavidez, oh, or not, wow. also known as a good counterpuncher when he does. He determined that he was stunned early in their fight, but he's never been down. He is steep. He's got a great chin. Danny Garcia. So definitely using his stick effectively going through four in Brooklyn. And he's also hitting you in the stomach, the body. Garcia's jab. Garcia, three punch coming. punching of Garcia has been effective, really effective in this fight. And again, the jab sets up those punches. Rowan, Benavidez, the right hand, and Garcia. Well, the Danny Garcia show. Uh, Benavidez is not throwing as many combinations. There was one, but they all missed. And there's a nice really using that jab effectively here in the fifth, followed up by the right hand. No, you gotta you gotta get in low. You're, you're standing too straight up. Jab and Garcia, lateral movement on the ropes, firing back the combination. And uh, he read both the body languages from Benavides. He was looking in Barclays and Barclays. He's becoming more comfortable.
scramble as the fight unfolds. Yeah. Better be needs to become a little bit more aggressive. Throwing more, obviously landing more. And just landed one. And that's how you become a dangerous... Yeah, he's taking control with that jab. counter right hand to the body by Garcia has been wow. wildly. And really, it's all about Danny Garcia's jab right now, guys. In his 154-pound debut... Yeah, he needs a, 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 a win or a very shoulders fight, and he has not been able to change the dynamic. And he is slowing Garcia. Let's go to Jim Carson. Looking forward to dancing with Danny Garcia. Of course, Jose Benavides Jr. would like to ruin yeah. those plans. And we saw Tony Ertz in his last the fight. Guy yes. Beat Jamel Charlo. That was a great overhand by Garcia. Garcia. And again, better be this, you know, half of this 12 round, 154 pound fight. So let's find out what our good bagel in New York City. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's impossible, right? You know, Steve made a great point that Garcia. slipping a lot of what the Benavides is throwing. Danny Garcia, when he wants to, can give you great oh, movement. There, there's the and I can't say it enough. Uh, Benavides needs to let his hands go. He's mm -hmm. overthinking it. He's and he says that as we've talked about. Yeah. That's what he did in this last fight as well. Yeah. You know, the, there's shots that, that get Danny Garcia yeah. letting his hands go. Referee uh, Diversifying the attack. And Benavidez now throwing punch, but I mean everything sent him to the body. Garcia's just thrown his 250 yeah, into 39. Hmm. And there's that again Abner going to the body yeah, with, the with that jab upstairs, downstairs, changing it. Again, it's ad nauseum, yeah. but man, Benavidez, no movement. Yeah. There's a showing some life here at the later stages of the seven, but Garcia continues to put together the combinations. Garcia, it's been effective. They're a lead right hand. You know, we talk about his counter punching. He's capable of initiating the, the demonstrates it. Fainting, also going to the body. We talked about him varying his see, goes to the in Brooklyn, and there's a combination one two, and then using footwork to escape. A pretty good record after that, but he's only been 12 rounds three times. And there's Benavides coming. He's got a punch. That's just as simple as you can put it. It's just about getting rid of great combination after another combination. You got to step on it. Keep doing the same thing. There nice you exchange. You know, these are essentially 247 pounders in there. So we may not know what Danny Garcia is overall going to do in this division. But what we have seen in this fight is yeah. that he is. He, that Garcia does bring in name value, yeah. a strong resume, and. Uh, that's why Tony Harrison wants to fight. He is fighting a bigger fighter, period. Benavidez weighed in, rehydrated to 172 yes, pounds. Point. Double jab, the body. Mm. Consistency from Danny Garcia. Cut off the ring, but unable to do so with Danny Garcia. You know, we've seen Benavidez do. Oh, Ooh. cuffing right hand by Benavidez. Goes to the body, left hook to the liver. Another lead left hook to the body by Garcia. That's what did. We are through eight rounds, and yeah, the Danny Garcia show, Danny Garcia show looking pretty good thus far as we go to Steve Foss. Well, loaded division. All right, Steve Fundora and Erickson Lubin with uh, one of the better fights of the year. Again, Benavidez standing right in front of Danny Garcia, giving him the opportunity to let his... Garcia thought keeping a tight guard was important against Benavidez, and he, he has done that. Or the right hand, yes. he's really effective. Yeah, to the right body hand, or to the right hand. To he's the enjoying head. this, but needs to throw more, and he's doing it now here in round nine. Landed a nice... Delivers a blow. You know, Benavides has snuck some right in. Downstairs by Benavides. Yeah, really good round for Benavides. Yeah, it's his best round for him. Yeah, he's got to be first. He's got to get off the initiative. And that's exactly Garcia continues to use that jab, trying to break the guard. And here he, he has had in recent rounds. Even by and by the punch set numbers. But that, all of a sudden he pauses and stands right in front of Danny Garcia. There's a right hand of the body by Benavidez. A right hand by round number 10, straight ahead. Another sharp jab from Benavidez for Garcia. 
he's had in the fight. Yes. Here, nice little uppercut on the inside. A, a combination of the things Jose Benavides was hoping to do coming into this fight. Garcia shows his counter punching, but Benavides. There's a right hand over the top by Garcia, and then both of them again here. New weight class, body with the left hook, as we've seen on many occasions. Again, a nice there. There are no angles, and not to, again. Danny Garcia showcasing his busy with the, your own jab, with your punches, with the right hand that Benavides has, and he has thrown 38 punches so far in this round. Wow. Because I mean, we just saw talking about Benavides, you know, throwing more punches, but the jab has kept him muted. The hand speed. I mean, there's a reason. An elite fighter, 140, 147, now at 154. Come on, Chad. Come on, you're right here, Chad. Yeah. Like a million dollars. Yeah. Don't give it to him, Danny. Keep giving it. Jabs by, by Garcia. And then that sets up that right hand. So, the and, and comes with another one. Likewise, a very good performance. And again, you temper it by the There's no one in there against him. But the defense of Teddy feels like he can do that and not worry about it. And he can take three and 12 rounders, only losses. And Benavidez wanting to engage him yet. He, I mean, showing he wants yeah. to get but inside and, and, and give Benavidez an opportunity to know him. He's going to box. A different class, and, and yet the rest of the division. 54 pound pool here tonight. That's a perfect way to vision. Mm -hmm. And this is a way for him to get the ring rust off. Yes. See, and he's tech for it. Keep working the body, okay. Hey, but anything can happen. It's yes. rocks and it's, it's yes. I mean, even this, instead of yeah. reacting, he's got to mm. throw punches. Yes. He is, you know, he's doing damage. But I don't think that Benavides before stuck, he stuck to the plan. Three punch coming in, Joe. And Danny Garcia continues to Benavides. And when you, you take a look, Garcia's age 34. Danny Garcia, much to the delight of his crowd here in Brooklyn, the Danny Garcia Show. Well received tonight. In favor of the winner, Danny Swift.